Here we have a production function, 10L plus 2K, and this firm has orders for 200 units of output. Let's let the price of labor be $5 and the price of capital $2. Let's find this firm's cost minimizing combination of labor and capital. We'll start with the tangency condition, where the slope of the ISO quant is equal to the slope of the ISO cost line, which means the negative of the marginal rate of technical substitution will be equal to the negative of the wage rate over the rate of capital. So MRTS is the ratio of the marginal product of labor to the marginal product of capital. And we know that W is 5 and R is 2. Go back to my production function to take my partial derivatives to get the marginal products. The partial derivative of Q with respect to L is 10. And the partial of Q with respect to K is 2. So I can plug in 10 over 2 equals 5 over 2. Except that, of course, that's not actually equal. We've got uh, 5 versus 2.5. Now, when they're not equal, we know we have a corner solution. Now, 5 is the firm's technical rate of substitution. And 2.5 is the market's rate of substitution. That is, the firm could use 5 fewer machine hours for one more labor hour. But the market requires 2.5 fewer machine hours for one more labor hour. What this means is this firm should use more labor. Another way to think about it is in terms of marginal product per dollar spent. So the marginal product of labor divided by the price of labor should be equal to the marginal product of capital divided by the price of capital. Plugging in what we know, we get 10 over 5 and 2 over 2. And 2, of course, is greater than 1. So what this also says is the marginal product per dollar spent on labor exceeds the marginal product per dollar spent on capital, which means we should use more labor. So both of those say, if this is a quarter solution, use all labor and no capital. Well, how am I going to figure out how much labor I need? I can go back to my original production function, 200 equals 10L plus 2K, and I can plug in 0 for K. Now I only have one variable left, the L, and it's very trivial to solve for it. So 20E is my optimal amount of labor, and I'll use no capital. I can graph this, so labor on the x-axis, capital on the y-axis. The ISO cost curve has a slope of negative 2.5, and the ISO quant has a slope of negative 5. So if I put on my ISO cost, my total cost line, I want to make sure my ISO quant is steeper. Now there'll be a range of ISO quants, so I just drew one on for reference that was steeper. There's going to be some that are over there to the left, there's going to be some that are over here to the right, and since we've decided we're producing all labor and using all labor and no capital uh, when we produce 200 units of output, here is our corner solution using 20 units of labor, no capital, and our ISO quant reflects 200 units of output.